Hello dear students. I hope you are doing great. I am Nidhavi and today I am here with one more interesting chapter of English grammar that is adjectives and degrees of comparison. Just because this chapter is too lengthy to understand in a single class, so I have divided it into two parts. In the first part, we will be covering adjectives, its types, its examples and the way to convert an adjective into opposite by adding suffixes or prefixes. And in its uh, second part, we will be seeing different different degrees of comparison in which we include positive degree, comparative degree and superlative degree. And yes, of course, you will be getting a task to do as well. So without wasting our time, let's get started. Now, dear kids, just hold your pen and take your notebook and look at the given pictures. When you observe these pictures, so which is the word that comes to your mind after looking at these? Maybe when you looked at the first picture, you thought of a red rose or a beautiful rose. After looking at this picture, maybe you thought a tall boy or a fat boy. In the third picture, you could think a fat lady or an old lady. And after looking at the fourth picture, you might thought that it's a cute puppy, a little puppy or a furry puppy. Am I right? So the words that you used to describe these pictures are called adjectives. As we already know that the adjectives are the words that we use to describe a noun or a pronoun. And the same thing we study in the definition of adjectives. An adjective is a word used to describe a noun or a pronoun. Example, tall, beautiful, red, fat, free, tasty, strong, much, etc. Features of adjectives. Adjective describes or modifies a noun or a pronoun. Adjectives tell more about the kind, quality, quantity, etc. of the noun or pronoun. For example, a furry dog, a tasty burger, three pence, much rice, etc. Now, what are the different kinds of adjectives? These are adjectives of quality, adjectives of quantity, numeral adjective, demonstrative adjective, adjective of position, and interrogative adjectives. These types of adjectives we are going to cover in our today's class. Adjective of quality. Adjectives that indicate the quality of a noun are called adjectives of quality. They may indicate the shape, size, color, quality, taste, height, length, width, etc. of a person or a thing. For example, the boy is intelligent. Adjective of quantity. As you say, quantity. These adjectives are measuring words that modify the noun. They indicate the quantity of the noun or pronoun they describe. They are used with uncountable noun. It is the most important thing to learn that the adjective of quantity is used with the uncountable nouns because we cannot count it but we can measure it. If you remember, we have studied about the uh, countable nouns and uncountable nouns in our previous class. And that time also I told you that we cannot count these nouns. So that is why they are called uncountable nouns. And we use the word quantity for exactly the same nouns which cannot be count means uncountable nouns. I want some rice. I don't want one rice, two rice or three rice. But I want some rice, more rice, much rice. 
enough rice, etc. Then comes adjectives of number. This adjective tells us that how many noun or pronoun are being talked about. They indicate the number of the noun and pronoun they describe. They are used with countable nouns. Of course, if these are countable nouns, so we can count them. And if we can count them, so we need number for that. For example, 15 students have been chosen for the play. I have eaten I have eaten three burgers. I want two more pencils, etc. Demonstrative adjectives. These adjectives point out which person or thing is meant. They help in pointing out the things or object meant. Basically, the demonstrative adjectives are this, that, these, those, such and certain. For example, these apples are rotten. Interrogative adjectives. When we studied the types of sentences in that class, we have studied about interrogative sentences. You all know that the interrogative means question sentence. In the same manner, interrogative adjective means question adjective. These adjectives are used with nouns to ask questions. Interrogative adjectives are whose, what and which. Which book will you buy? Possessive adjectives. A possessive adjective shows possession or belongings. Example, his books are on the table. His shows the position on books. <laughs> Formation of opposites with the addition of prefixes. Opposite words or negative words can be formed by adding prefixes such as this, in, non, etc. Example, this is a suffix which is used with the adjective honest and makes its opposite dishonest. In the same manner, the suffix un joined with the adjective comfortable makes its opposite uncomfortable. The suffix m, sorry, the prefix m plus polite makes impolite. Now it's a time to do the drill. Form opposites of the following adjectives by adding suitable prefixes. Personal, real, proper, human, organized and disciplined. That's it for today. Now what is coming in part 2? That will be the flashback of previous knowledge, degrees of comparison, comparative degree, superlative degree, correct use of some adjectives and of course drills to do. Keep learning. Thank you.